let's look at another force you kick a ball and the ball starts moving does the ball keep moving or the ball comes to rest after moving through some distance it comes to stop right what what makes the ball stop this is a natural force called frictional force friction happens when any two things rub against each other frictional forces are present almost everywhere in our daily life so why did the ball stop on the ground because the ball and the ground are rubbing against each other the force by which you push the ball is moving the ball forward and the frictional force that generates because of the rubbing of ball and the ground is trying to stop the ball these two forces fight against each other with the push force winning against friction for some time and gradually the push force gets tired and the frictional force wins and the ball stops now take two balls of the same type throw one ball on the smooth surface and another on the rough surface with the same force guess which ball stops first correct the ball moving on the rough surface stops first and why did this happen because if the surface is rough the friction will be more hence the ball moving on the rough surface stops first and the friction was less on the smooth surface so that ball stopped later we use force to move the object like when we hit a ball we use force to push it same way to stop the moving body we need a force like when we catch a ball we use a force to stop it apart from moving the object or stopping the object force can change the direction of the moving body also like in this picture the person hits the moving ball with a bat and uses the force to change the direction so that the opponent doesn't hit it force can also change the shape of the object like when we apply force on a soft ball as given in the diagram it can change the shape of the ball so force can do multiple things it can move an object slow it down stop it completely change the direction of a moving object or change the shape of an object now let us learn about work work is done only when an object moves over a distance on applying force for example if you move a pencil the work is done work is done only if the object which is pushed or pulled moves for example if you push a wall the wall does not move so there is no work done even though we applied force now let us learn about energy energy is the ability to do work when you apply force on an object your body uses energy for example to move a table you apply force and to do so your body uses energy your body produces energy from the food you eat right a moving car uses energy from its petrol so whenever force is applied energy is used simple there are different forms of energy let us look at some of these when we push or pull some object we use force which comes from the energy of our muscles this is called as muscular energy electrical energy is used to operate fans computer machines refrigerators and all the electrical appliances you see in our house schools offices etc 
you all know about petrol diesel kerosene petrol and diesel are used to run vehicles and fly airplanes and they give chemical energy and most important how does the food get cooked at our home we use heat energy to cook food to boil water the burning of fuels like coal wood and cooking gas gives heat energy the natural gas that is used as the cooking gas is called as lpg that is liquid petroleum gas that also gives heat energy do you know where we get these energy there are various sources of energy let us look at some of those energy from the sun is called as solar energy it is used normally for heating and lighting plants also use sunlight to make their food this food energy is passed on to the animals when they eat the food prepared by the plants isn't it interesting running water or falling water generates mechanical energy which is used to produce electricity have you ever seen a windmill do you know how it moves and what it does the energy of wind moves the windmills and the windmills produces electricity so the source of energy is wind and the type of energy or form of energy is electricity the energy from sun water and wind is called as renewable energy why renewable it means it can be generated again and again and energy from such sources is safe to use as it does not cause pollution the remains of the plants and animals that were buried in the earth from last so many lakhs of years are called as fossils the pressure of the rocks and the heat inside the earth turned these fossils into fossil fuels coal crude oil natural gas are all such fossil fuels and they are used to produce different forms of energy like coal is used for cooking crude oil like uh, petroleum and diesel is used to run the cars and the natural gas like lpg is used for cooking but note energy from fossil fuels is non renewable it means that in future the stock of coal crude oil will get over and fossil fuels pollute the atmosphere whenever they are burnt so now we know energy we use come from different sources some sources of energy are renewable and some are non renewable so we should use energy carefully we should not waste energy in a nutshell energy is the ability to apply force like in this example the muscular energy in a person is helping him to apply the force to push the chair and the force means pushing or pulling an object and whenever force is applied and the object moves like the chair moves the work is done very simple goodbye kids